this was Sonny's idea right here. Today, me and Sonny and my dad are gonna be working on the 350Z. You guys already know I'm getting this replaced as Sonny wanted me to show you. We are working on the, the 350. We're gonna be getting this car essentially drift ready by installing the Mishimoto oil cooler. And we also have a thunking noise coming from the front passenger which we believe is the wheel bearing. So we have the whole assembly to replace that out. So, and hopefully get the Z drift ready today. You part, you participated in my intro, but yeah, hopefully this oil cooler install goes well. Uh, I see it's just bolts on here and then the braided lines go down here and go into there. And as for our wheel hub, we have this thing, this big old wheel hub replacement. Yeah, you hear it? It's not the squeaking noise. We know that's the brakes, but there's like a little thunk noise that he, you can hear that kind of comes out when you spin the wheels. So trying to get that fixed. And since we've already spent like a day or two trying to replace all the lower control arms and ball joints, those are all good to go. So the car is definitely getting to that drift ready state. First thing we're going to do is the wheel hub. Um, that's just going to be taking this wheel off, replacing it. This is not going to be a wheel hub video. This is going to be a oil cooler video. So I'm just going to time lapse that and then we'll jump straight into the oil cooler install. Oh, it's the wheel bearing. Wheel bearing and hub that's making that noise. That's awful. Alright, well, time to change that out. So Y'all ain't got no chisel? No. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that's enough. Hell yeah, I looped the shit out of this. That's enough. Behind here too. Get inside of one, bro. <laughs> you gotta work it. You need more PV. Loop it, she loop it up. That's your favorite tool, PV lost. You want me to spray the bitch more? No, it's good, it's open over I can loop it up, bro. Damn it, I missed it. <laughs> Wanna oh. put it back on there? No. Alright, well, that's out. Mishimoto. 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 All right. Okay. Man, we finished the wheel hub. No more, no more of that noise. Man, I love the way they have this stuff packaged. Yeah, it's like Christmas, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. It's probably opening car park. This is the bracket. Nice. Pull the this is the water hose. Water hose. <laughs> Not quite. And look at this. This is Whoa. the shit, guys. Look, look, at that. look at that. That looks way different than the Man. video. Man, that the looks quality. crazy with the brand name and all. Yeah. What is all this? Extra nuts and stuff. These are some nuts. Hardware, yeah. What are these? These nuts. <laughs> Daddy, what are these? This is why people comment on the video. These nuts. Because <laughs> they all stupid. Yeah, because on the last video, you, went, you said bow nuts or something like that. These nuts. Bow nuts. Man, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That little thing will prevent the motor from blowing. Mm -hmm. All right. So this bracket is supposed to line up here and then the oil cooler on top like yeah. that. You have your two braided lines that swing down here and you have to mount them properly so it doesn't get caught by the sway bar or the tire or the control arm into the oil filter. So it should be pretty easy. take off the oil filter in order to install this like oil spacer thing for the oil cooler to operate I don't know shit but let's go ahead and drain the oil You heard the knocking sound? Yeah. You're so dumb. <laughs> I thought the car was broken. That was you. <laughs> so stupid. This guy. I was wondering what, what I was like, <laughs> shit, we got a bigger problem. Alrighty, 
We're officially done. Oil cooler installed. New wheel hub and bearing installed. Also, new control arms on both ends and an oil change and oil filter change. So, we think the car is ready. Um, it has a brand new set of tires all around. We also have two spare tires we're going to be taking with us to the drift event. And uh, it's time for a test drive because the car's been sitting in here for quite some time. Yep, no more thumping noise. The car sounds good, it's running good. All right, let's say bye to the BRZ. It's gonna sit here while we take the Z out for a day to make sure everything is good on the car and uh, give it a little car wash so that it can be clean for the drift event. And then we will be switching with the BRZ in the next video to make sure the BRZ is drift ready for the drift event. Uh, since we'll be swinging that one a little bit, but let's head to the car wash. Alrighty. Um, I did end up running out of time to wash the car. I will wash it tomorrow before I bring it back to the garage. But the 350Z, we are going to say is drift ready um we ran into so many things out of nowhere but we pulled through we pulled through a lot of days thanks to sunny and my dad we were able to get a lot of the stuff done we were able to change out the wheel hub and bearing the control arms install the oil cooler do an oil change oil filter and even change out the shift knob setup as a little cherry on top that is a wrap on the z the next video you guys will see what this car is going to be a very cinematic one of us taking this thing to swing it and along with the BRZ. So if you guys want to see what we're doing to the BRZ to make sure that that's drift ready, be sure to keep an eye out on the next video. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to say the car is basically just all stock. How is that drift ready? We wanted the car to be kind of at an OEM state the way it is. You guys see we mainly did aesthetics so that we could swing it first with an OEM state and kind of get the idea of how the car swings before we add more upgrades. We're going to figure out what we think needs upgrading first and go from there off of this drift event. So we're gonna learn a lot. Next up is the BRZ and then the drift event. So should be pretty cool. Um, that is all I have for you guys today. I gotta rush home and edit this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys are excited for the drift event, please let me know in the comment section below. Should be a lot of fun. And uh, don't forget to never stop dreaming. <laughs>